President Biden signed a new law today that extends VA health benefits to veterans who were exposed to toxic chemicals during their service. And that includes thousands of Oklahomans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Alex Cameron has more from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. The law had overwhelming bipartisan support in Congress and represents a major win for veterans, the most significant increase in their benefits in decades. I'd like to thank every member of Congress who supported and voted for the PACT Act. For Danielle Robinson, today's ceremony was personal, with the bill named for her late husband, Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson, who faced his biggest battle 10 years after returning from Iraq. A terminal stage four lung cancer diagnosis due to toxic exposure from a burn pit in Baghdad. I think um, now uh, I can grieve his loss. Sergeant Robinson's mother-in-law, Susan Zier, says the family's been too busy advocating for changes in the law to properly mourn. Heath asked me to promise that I would continue telling his story in order to get the help out there to the other veterans who are sick and dying and being denied by the VA. The VA has denied about 70% of claims related to toxic burn pit exposure in Iraq and Afghanistan, saying the veterans haven't proven their illness is connected. Um, they don't have to fight anymore to prove that. Iraq War veteran and Fort Worth Councilwoman Elizabeth Beck has had her own exposure-related health issues. She says the law's presumption of a connection between exposure and illness is based in science and reflects an understanding of the true cost of war. And then it's not just the lives that we lose uh, during the battle, but it's those that we lose coming home, whether that be to suicide or illness. And so this is just another step in making sure that we take care of those that took care of us. This is a good day. It's a really good day. Officials with the VA say they know this means more work for them, but they say they're ready. These veterans will get the care and benefits they deserve. At the White House, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.